day of the emergency. It was at first a foreign emergency. Another terse and transient refrain on news tickers at the sushi place. Skilled hands cleaned avocados. Uber drivers came and went. To crowd a narrow counter was as ordinary as the falling snow. The number dead were pixel casualties. We knew not to picture people as beloved as our own. But the threat was that it would become domestic, that it wouldn't know a border from a pencil mark, would quietly transmit from screens to rooms where our own imprints were on chairs, where the dust was flakes of skin. The emergency was only figuratively in the air. Or was it? Maybe it would still expire very slowly in our medicine cabinets. But then the emergency was singing from the Neapolitan balconies, went into quarantine at Sussex Drive, killed its first rumor monger witness. The graph said that our golden time was ending. The emergency came with the snowdrops and the early robins in the grass, slant ampersands that bound the blank unknowns together. The directives for some resembled leisure. First, there were daytime fathers in the park. The emergency could hide itself inside someone for five, no, ten, no, fourteen days. It was going to cull us like Point Peely deer. It swiped the store shelves clear, it only tapped to pay. Then playgrounds closed with crime tape. The emergency took the subway. It found the captain and the minimally waged, the lungs already waterlogged with griefs. It was another bad time to be or seem Chinese in our country. Or was it just still a bad time? The blinds were shut at nursing homes. The patients sputtered to their deaths alone. The living stood in stagnant lines outside the grocery stores, upright and apart like dominoes that wouldn't fall against each other. Then the lineups were outside the cash money and the free meal truck in the park. On screens, groups of Indian laborers crouched under disinfectant sprays. The comfort sailed past the Statue of Liberty. The skies over Stuttgart cleared. Outside, the birds seemed easier to hear. and Iftar took to zoo. The emergency wore a crown. It was beautiful in electron micrographs. It was mass graves and boredom and skin hunger. It was scheduled announcements of what would resume. Some said the new world order. Some said a revelation of what we always were. Choreography, vigilant pedestrians. A vaccine is the emergency declared disarmed. A breath is the movement of air into us, into air.